Hey everybody, it's Heather. I get to bring you today's devotion. Uh, joining me today are my little helpers here. You can see Miles and our newest addition, JJ. So don't mind them as they wander around me while I'm doing this. They're a little bit confused on why mom is sitting out in the backyard. Well, it's beautiful outside. I've just been absolutely um, just filled with blessing and joy over the past few days with all the sunshine and the warm weather. And I hope you've had an opportunity to get out and enjoy it yourself. And it, it seems like spring is here, right? Well, I had to run some errands this morning. And as I was running my errands, I got to thinking, you know, whether we have been quarantined in our house, um, and not come in contact with many people, or maybe we have been, you know, still working out in um, the workforce and we have continued to, you know, come in contact with people. Um, I think it's safe to say that we have an opportunity every day um, to, to encounter somebody, whether it's face to face or whether it's over the phone or, maybe even the internet, we have an opportunity to have a conversation with someone. And I just started to notice a theme as I was, you know, checking out at these various different stores. And that was most of the workers were, um, they didn't have a lot of life to them. They didn't seem like they were excited about anything that they had any, um, you know, hope almost. I mean, it just seemed like, you know, they were doing their job and, and they were doing it well, but that was kind of all. Um, and so uh, I just, for whatever reason, um, I'm gonna say Jesus gave me this just uh, desire uh, to wanna bring them joy. And everywhere I went this morning, I just encountered a person and felt like I was the person who needed to bring them, bring them a, a smile, a word of encouragement, joy, um, give them something to smile about. And so um, as I was doing that and, and checking out at these various places, it was different for everybody I noticed. You know, one person it was simply just, you know, acknowledging them and saying thank you. Um, in another store, uh, it was uh, telling them that I appreciated what they were doing. Uh, and in another one, the last one that I that I went to this morning, um, it was just, it was I had the sweetest conversation with a woman uh, who very well was in her 70s, maybe even 80s, and was working and she was my checkout lady. And she, you know, uh, was apologizing to me um, because she was going so slow and she was sharing with me that it made her nervous to, um, to go fast. And sometimes she can get in trouble for that at her job. And I just, the word joy just kept coming to my mind. And so I, I just, I looked at her and I said, Hey, you don't have to rush on my account. I'm not in a hurry. So take your time and do what you need to do. And you could see your whole entire body language change just because I gave her that little bit of reassurance that it was okay. So I was reminded of Psalm 126, three, and it says the Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. Guys, I hope that today whatever you do whatever is laid before you or maybe whatever you have already done if you're watching this later in the day whatever it is friends i hope that you are taking note of all of the wonderful things that god has done for us all of the blessings he has given each and every one of us and that you are filled with joy a joy that you just can't help but share. It overflows. As, as 
the weather gets nicer and people are outside more often and we begin to um, come in contact with more and more people, I imagine, you know, it's, it's gonna be tough for some of us. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna cause us a little bit of maybe anxiety um, and uh, unsure about, you know, how to really interact with people again. It's been a while. Just, just think about all the blessings that God has given you. Think about all of the things that the Lord has done for you. And just let your, let your joy do the talking. Let your joy overflow from you so greatly that people can't help but smile. Friends, I hope you have a wonderful day and it's such an honor and privilege to get to uh, speak to you um, and do these devotions. I hope you know that I'm praying for you and just find your joy.